Brennick Hart, and I write and sing the songs for the Green TS. Uh, I think since I was about 15, but I've been writing songs since I was like a little kid. Not all of them are that good. I'm Dylan Maples. I play guitar and help write and just occasionally yell in the Green Tea House. Uh, I've been playing guitar for, I think, since I was like nine, but uh, me and Brent have been doing our thing for the past five years, almost five, five and a half years. Hi, I'm Chance Williams, and I play drums in the Green Tea House. I've been playing probably about 15 years now. My name's Garrett Maples, and I play guitar in the Green Tea House. I've been playing music for about 15 years, since I was uh, probably like seven years old or so. I started playing piano. Uh, first, and then I switched to guitar a little later on, so. Hi, I'm Dylan Haywood, and I play bass for the Green Tea House. I've been playing music since I was 10, but uh, I've been playing bass for about seven or eight years now. The Green Tea House started as, like, Dylan and Brynn's acoustic uh, project. I really liked the music they were making, and uh, me and Chance had met through a previous project. And I knew Chance was a really good drummer, so I was like, why don't we try and make a full band thing out of this? And so, me and Dylan came over here and jammed for a little while, and then we brought Brent over here and jammed. And then we brought Dylan, who Chance knew as a bass player in, and we were like, hey, this sounds really good, so let's uh, like make something out of this. It was really a pleasant experience recording, especially with like a home studio. So Everybody took construction very well. That's the hardest part. No one got too mad when they got told that part was garbage, do it better. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. In this band and on this EP, it was a lot of everyone writes their own parts. Like, Bren is the master of vocals and melodies and everything that comes with vocals. Dylan's the master of screaming and guitar and his parts, and I'm the master of the lead guitar and chances, like, over the drums and what parts we should do then. Dylan's the master of, like, the bass and everything. Like, everyone kind of We've all got our segmented parts that came together and we made sure they worked together. It wasn't anyone telling anyone, like, play this here, play this here. Just, you know, from my experience, so. Well, they all wanted to go to a studio. And I just looked around my room and looked at them and was kind of like, well, I mean, it's kind of what we're in. So we could just do it here. It's just kind of a pain in the ass when you're in the band and producing the album. But uh, they talked me into it and we ended up going through with it. Worked out great. I vote the studio, <laughs> but that's if we have money. If we don't have money, then here, again. I was going to vote studio as well, just so like we could all come in there like not having to worry about... Well, I, I'm speaking from like not having to do it, but I'm more saying Chance and Kyle not having to worry about like setting all this stuff up, making sure it's perfect, everything. We all come in with a song we want to record, and just go in there and record it, and let them do all the work, and we can pay, or whatever. But yeah, like Chance said too, if it's kind of a money thing, so. It's also a schedules thing. I mean, a lot of our schedules Absolutely. are really different, you know? So it really comes down to if, it, if it's feasible. I mean, in an ideal world, I'd vote studio, too. Yeah.
Sex is just not so. We feel like everything.